All right, the final drawing tool I'm going to show you is the pen tool. Now, the pen tool is the same as the term uh, curve tool, but it naturally makes straight lines, and it will you'll see it like snaps to straight lines. And if you press shift, it will snap to 45 degree angles as well. So that makes it really easy to go about very quickly making a drawing that conforms. So I'm getting some curves in there. Um, it makes it easy to get a drawing that conforms to straight lines. Okay. But it will also do, if I click and then hold while I'm clicking, instead of releasing, like the curve tool, you know, started making another curve like that only after you clicked again. If I hold it, I can drag it around. Now, if I want to make like a series of things that wave like that, that's all fine and dandy. But if I want to change directions here, so I want to make like a M shape. Go ahead and get this nice and tall. What I'll have to do is come hover over here and press for you on the Mac option for me here, Alt. That changes it, and then I can go this direction or this direction again. So it puts it back to like the beginning. Here I'm automatically on the other end of a curve, and then it will come out to a straight line on the other end. So if you want to make a series of like arches like that, you'll have to hit that Alt key. If I hold the Alt key while I'm doing that, then I can go ahead and have a straight line after it um, that will, then I can curve it like around this way. And I can go from straight, I can go curved again, ah, straight, curved. So I can go back and forth more easily. So you, you'll probably want to try all of the tools. Because this, kind of like with the curve tool, gives me good ability to map out a shape very quickly. And then I can go back. But here I don't have the problem I had with the curve tool. Now I can get that curve from the get-go. Go ahead and push Alt. I can be a little bit more in control of the direction of everything as I go. And if I don't like the way it's curving, I can either start straight, or like here I want it to curve the other way, so I'll press Alt and I'll curve down with it really quickly. Press Alt, and now I'm more in control of the curve. It doesn't warp the curve like the curve tool does. So I can constantly be changing direction and then in, immediately in control of the curve afterwards. So like I hit Alt there and now I can give it the dog a, a better foot. So the pen tool is a, a very powerful. And this is, I would assume most people that are using Illustrator are probably using the pen tool. Now you'd be able to do all the other stuff that you do um, afterwards. Of course, it's a path you can edit it. I can drag the shapes out. I could click on the anchor point and mess with the handles, any of that stuff. So it's the same kind of editing tool. So I would suggest playing with all three of those tools. Um, try tracing your drawing with all three of them. See which one you like best. And certain tools are going to be better for certain jobs. So you'll want to get familiar enough with them that, you know, okay, well, I'm working on this type of thing. I want a... a to use the curve tool, I'm working on that type of thing. I want to use the pen, pencil tool or the pen tool. Um, and I, I should be able to get that curve tool and come in here and turn that into a rounded point or a pinched off point. Um, get the direct selection tool, mess with the anchors. Any Anything else that you do with any of the other tools, you'll be able to do with the pen tool as well. So play with all three of them as you're making your iterations here. Let me get rid of this one point. and get rid of that point. Okay, so same thing. 
I don't need to finish the drawing. Have fun playing with these tools.